Sunday, January 30, 1944. My dearest kid, another Sunday has rolled around. I don't mind them as much as I did in the beginning, but they are boring enough. I still haven't gone to the warehouse yet, but maybe sometime soon. Last night, I went downstairs in the dark all by myself after having been there with father a few nights before. I stood at the top of the stairs while German planes flew back and forth, and I knew I was on my, my own, that I couldn't count on others for support. My fear vanished. I looked up at the sky and trusted in God. I have an intense need to be alone. Father has noticed I am not my usual self, but I can't tell him what is bothering me. All I want to do is scream. Let me be, let me alone. Who knows? Perhaps the day will come when I am left alone more than I would like. I'm trying. When countries go to war, or when one group targets another, millions of lives change forever. People flee, they hide, so often they die. We can see that right now in Ukraine, just as I saw it in Iraq. And just as Anne Frank saw it so many years ago in Germany and Holland. It is not the young women who generally get to write the history books. Even though we suffer along with everyone else, Anne Frank changed that. She taught generations of young girls and women that their voices and their stories matter. When I was a girl growing up in Iraq, I had never heard of Anne Frank. Even though I went to school, her story was not one we read. Like Anne, I was a part of a religious minority. And like Anne, that community was under threat. I could have learned so much from her, and I wish I had her words when I was her age, going to school, and living with my family in Kojo, and later when I was taken by ISIS fighters. She knew she could be herself while also representing her community. And she knew that her experience as a young girl was important enough to write down. I'm still learning from her.